being one of the few means uh, you got to be relentless. You, you got to have a relentless mindset, you know. Um, few will hunt has this famous quote that says, uh, everybody want to eat, but few will hunt. And it means exactly that. Everybody want to be successful, but a few want to go through what it takes to be successful. Some of the things that uh, people go through when trying to achieve success are like, main thing is haters, right? Um, you got to learn how to block out the haters and uh, you have to focus like a train right on the tracks. You know, anything that comes in, um, you got to block, block that shit out. If not, you're done, you know? Um, stay focused and have that relentless mindset of keep moving forward. It's moving forward no matter what, you know? Um, especially when you own a business, when you run a clothing line, when you're trying to train here in the MMA, when you're trying to fight, um, life is gonna hit you with a one two. You know, harder than Mike Tyson. And you gotta be able to take it and keep moving forward. Um, but the most important thing is your mindset. You gotta have that that greedy, that grit mindset. Uh, just keep moving forward and with your game plans, you know. Um, sometimes you gotta ask yourself, do you really want it? You know, and uh, you gotta you gotta wake up and you gotta put one foot in front of the other, keep moving forward. Just not long ago, we faced some crazy adversity as a team. Uh, Sean Brady fought November 20th in Vegas. We landed in uh, Philly the 21st, 22nd, wake up in the morning, ready to go to work, attack the week, and get to the gym, and the city shut down the whole building. Now, there, there were like 11 tenants in that whole building. Um, some some crazy shit the landlord had going on with the city. We didn't know about it. Show up, our gym is shut down. Now, I'm sitting there thinking like, how the fuck or how the hell did this happen? I just worked that time with nine years for whatever we had as a team, every day grinding. And it was gone in a matter of 15 minutes when that guy put that sticker on the door. Um, so I'm sitting there with a couple of the members of the, the Fuel Hunt community, my boys. And I'm sitting there, I'm shaking my damn head like, damn, I just worked all these years and it's all gone. Uh, and then having them by my side kind of snapped me back to reality like, yo, uh, we, can't, we can't give up, you know. Um, that morning, we had class, so the guys start coming in. Thank God I had my brother's gym right around the block, Dan Gracie. Um, guys start coming into the gym. We had to send them to his gym. The whole building. Asshole. I'll get a new place. Give me like one week. Yeah, one week, thank you. Yo, take him over there. We're gonna trade somewhere else. Danny. There's no training camp. <laughs> Danny. Um, so the, everyone's over there training. I'm over here where, with a, a few team members just trying to figure this, this shit out. Um, the only thing that was going through my head was all this work that I've done for nine years and it was gone in a matter of minutes. Um, and that day, I really had to sit with myself and say like, Either I have that grit in me or I don't. Either I'm going to move forward or I'm just give up. And I remember talking to uh, to Drew from Fuel One Hunt. He hit me up. We had a long conversation and that that just that conversation with him and a couple other guys changed my mind instantly, you know, and it was all about, yo, you got to have perseverance. You got to keep moving forward. You got to be greedy and uh, you can't give up. If you give up, you have hundred and something students behind you that is going to look at a man that just gave up. So I had to look down, looked at the Fuel One Hunt logo on my shirt, and I kept the moving. Right after, right after I started fighting my thoughts and turned negative thoughts into positive, me and the team jumped right into action. You know, uh, they went right to Daniel's gym. We were having classes over there. Thank God and thank to him. And um, we jumped right into action, started looking for buildings. Uh, all of our stuff was supposed to get locked in there. They locked all of our stuff in the building. 
all these other tenants crying and moving stuff out and we jumped right into action. Uh, we started looking for buildings. Some were saying no for MMA, some were saying yeah, there's too much, uh, other places too small. And then uh, we finally landed our home here Let's in uh, Globe Diamond. One and one. Um, we start and that was with Matt Papa John. We met uh, Matt Papa John, owned, he's one of the owners here at Globe Dive Works. It's kind of like a landmark type building in Philly. Um, so just by us having that positive mindset, we were able to move from a basement to this, our beautiful 6,000 square foot uh, little gym. Uh, but it's our home, you know what I mean? So if you learn anything from my experience or take anything away from me, um, it may sound cliche, but never give up. You know, uh, some people are digging for that diamond and one give up, the other one keep going. That one that gave up had this much to dig and he could have reached the diamond. Um, that's, that's, I think that's what I would like for any of you guys, if you take anything from my experiences, just to never give up. You know, you don't want to be on your deathbed and asking yourself, damn, what if, you know? So, uh, that's that's one thing that I will say. My name is John Marquez and I'm one of the few. <laughs>